Hello, everyone. I hope that your week is off to a great start. I wanted to pop on today and talk about a topic that you're all familiar with. I love talking about transformation, but I really wanted to dive into what it takes to really lay the foundation and have those essential components to actually even starting your transformation journey. So I'm so excited to have you here with me today, whoever is popping on, if you're watching the replay, really sink into this message because it's so important, especially if you are a person who's looking to get to that next level of your life. Jessica, welcome. I'm so glad to have you here. Awesome. We have a lot of people joining right now. Make sure that you say hi in the comments. This is awesome. I got some flowers. Perfect. So... This is what I'm going to spit at you today. This is what we got. So what a lot of people don't realize is that the external world is really a mirror for what's going on inside of you. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that's my philosophy, and I really believe that to my core, and I've seen that work in my life and so many of the other people that I help. So for example when someone has anxiety or they have thoughts of guilt or shame or whatever that is, it will manifest in your external reality. It will show up in every single part of your life. It'll show up in your relationships. It will show up at work. And I've seen this in so many of my clients. It'll be this repetitive self-sabotaging behavior. And usually it comes out through our thoughts. So that's really when there's stuck energy in the body from things that happened in your past or something that was really traumatic to you and you didn't release that energy, there's nowhere for it to go. So naturally it's going to go somewhere. And this is actually how the disease process starts. So if you, for example, had some kind of traumatic, traumatic experience and you the, the actual core wound was around guilt. That will keep showing up for you in different areas of your life. It'll come across through your thoughts and will manifest as anxiety. It might go to your stomach and cause some kind of you know, IBS or different symptoms. It depends on where the energy is going in your body. And there's a, actually a whole um, stress diathesis model that talks about this, that the energy, like we have certain energetic patterns in our body where we're more vulnerable. So if somebody has a, a weaker stomach uh, solar plexus area, for example, maybe they're more prone to eating disorders or different, you know, any, I mean, there's so many different things that can go on around that area. But that model really states that we are vulnerable in those areas. And when we don't move that energy out of our bodies, it is bound to just manifest in our external reality. So the first place that stuck energy will go is out through your thoughts. So if you're ruminating and you're having anxiety and you're worrying all of the time about certain things, that is actually a signal. That is an opportunity for you to look with Thin and, and I recommend meditation for any of this. Meditation helps you in so many ways. It helps change your brain frequency to promote healing. It helps to uh, decrease you know, inflammation in the body and so many other amazing benefits. So if you're really looking to transform, meditation is key. So back to what I was saying around um, the symptom, like if you have a symptom you need to be, that's your external symptom there. You have to be looking inside and asking, okay, like what is the feeling that I don't want to feel? Because the anxiety, it could be a symptom. It could be ruminating thoughts, but there's something trapped in your body that you're not processing through. You're not letting it out. And it, is going to impact every area of your life. And this is really the power of the work that I do is I help people to transform by really looking objectively at your life, which is really a mirror for what's going on internally and help them to shift that. So let me give you a concrete example. So say that you, you have a business and you are working really hard. You hired a coach, you are 
doing everything that you can, but you keep bumping up against resistance. You keep finding that people aren't receiving, they're not receptive to your offers, or you're struggling, you're working more hours, but not making any more money. There are core energy blocks within you. There's a, there's a belief system that's actually preventing you from getting the result that you want, because we can think with our conscious mind and we can think rationally like this is what I want well I want peace of mind obviously like I want all of these things but then you have the body over here which has all of the, the cellular memories of maybe unworthiness or guilt around receiving money or whatever it is and when those two things are not in line guess what you're not going to magnetize what you want into your physical reality it's not gonna happen you're not gonna fool the universe I mean it has to be the, the clear conscious thought aligned with the subconscious body being like, yes, I think that I'm worthy. I know that I bring value to the world. And this is, this is really to the core what I believe. So that is the power of subconscious work of moving things somatically through your body, allowing that energy to come up so that you can really release it. Because typically what people do is we will just push it away. We'll numb it out with alcohol or you know, go to the gym and, and over exercise. I mean, there's so many different addictions that we, tr we don't want to feel these uncomfortable feelings from the past, but your energy is tied up in the past so much that you keep replaying these things over and over again in every part of your life. So if you really want to transform, you're going to need to not only have the mental clarity, but align your subconscious body to that experience that you want to invite into your life. So I'll say that again, you need two components, the aligned thought of what you want, the clarity and the clear, the clear thought and the vision, but you also need that subconscious alignment in order to even draw that experience into your life. And that's where people really miss the mark because they don't do that subconscious work. They don't you know, really shift some of those deeper layers of unworthiness or feelings of guilt and allow that to really be purged out of your system. And that's really the the power of, of transformation, which I, if you've been watching, I've been doing a lot of posts on alchemy. It really is an alchemical process of really like burning down and releasing a lot of the old crap that isn't working so you can rebuild and really use the gold that is waiting for you. And this is your quantum queen. Like this is the woman, you know, in this vision, you're like, uh, hell yeah. Like I know I want this. I want to be rocking it in my business. I want to feel confident. I want to, you know, show up on Facebook live and be powerful. But then there's memories of maybe someone disappointing you or you getting criticized or something really traumatic happening to you where you close yourself off and you play small and you don't want to be seen. There's so many subtle nuances to this that I really just felt called to call out today and invite you into the conversation about how essential it is for you to address the subconscious mind because that is 95% of the whole equation. 5% of what you do every day is conscious. The rest of it is just like on autopilot every day. You know, if you're used to having anxiety all the time, for example, it's like, I always tell people, it's like if you go to work the same way, you're like driving that same freaking path every day. And whenever you get stressed out, you go down that same path. Or maybe for you, it's binge eating or going to alcohol or whatever it is. Patricia, thank you so much. She said so good. And it, it's true. This I've studied so much about the brain and about patterns and, and habit change. And I actually started off as a health coach, but I realized that there was only so much that people could shift consciously. And I was telling people, I was like, hey, you know, do X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. And there were so many layers of resistance from past experiences that drew them back to just like self-sabotage and old behaviors. And it, until you really address the subconscious and you work around shifting that, you're not going to get anywhere. It's, it's going to be very difficult. And this is not meant to be, you know, putting you down or, or making it sound really complicated because it's not. But you need to be addressing the subconscious realm in order to really begin to transform and to shift some of these patterns. And if you are coming to the Elevate Retreat on November 3rd, 
get ready because you don't even know what you are in for. It is going to be amazing. I will just say that. I don't want to give it all away, but we are going to be doing some really deep work on helping you to shift this, these patterns out of your body. These, these locked up emotions that you're not wanting to feel, we are going to like purge it. It is going to come out and it is going to be released. So that is the alchemy of transformation. You need to be able to become self-aware enough to know the, the signals of like how that shows up in your own life. So if you're used to maybe guilt or you're used to anxiety or a certain way that your brain is wired, those are the neural pathways that you have been running you know, and you can create new ones. That's the beauty of it. There's neuroplasticity in the brain. You can create new patterns. And it's, that's really the, the incredible work that I do is really helping women to shed and release these old layers of conditioning and these old stuck emotions that we don't want to feel so that you can liberate it and actually work on creating something that is going to help increase your income and impact seriously so if you are a person who you know is feeling stuck right now um, i would invite you to really just take a look at my quantum queen program that's something that i just launched today and this program is really designed to be an alchemical process so it's helping to really burn down that ego those limit the limited self of who we think we are and really shed those layers through different practices, alchemizing your frequency, uh, reprogramming your self-image. There's so much to it in this program that I've layered specifically to really help you embody that quantum queen that you have in your vision. Like you have the vision, it's clear, but there's still some stuff getting in the way. Once that is gone and you really release a lot of that stuff, it's just boom, alignment, and you are magnetized to drawing things into your physical reality. It is incredible. And I know because I have gone through it. So um, if anybody has any questions or if you want to reach out to me and, and um, you know, have any comments about this, I would love to connect with you and um, just popped on because I felt like, you know, that message really just needed to come across today. So anyway, I hope that you are all having a great start to your week and I will talk to you again soon.